I've said every time that politics is about choice, and I've lambasted the government for choosing to bomb Surrey instead of paying pensions. I've lambasted them for spending billions on Trident. I've uh, had a go at them for doing up this Palace of Westminster for £7 billion, which, funnily enough, we can afford. And I understand that sometimes that can get quite, quite dull, you know, when politicians repeat things again and again, but we've now got a new one. We can now also afford to pay up for the Queen's House. We can now find the money to refurbish Buckingham Palace. So my question to the Minister would be this. Are we going to be doing up Downing Street any time soon? Are there any, are there any other houses filled with millionaires that need to be done up, that need a lick of paint? Because it's a ridiculous notion that we can afford to fork out money for palaces, literal palaces like this in Buckingham Palace, but we can't pay pensions. It's a joke. <coughs> now, our job in here is to represent our job, is to maintain democracy, to make sure that people watching at home feel as though they've got a voice, to make sure that they feel there's people listening and standing up for them. To see when you see the quality of the debate that we've just sat through, no wonder people are quite depressed and disillusioned with politics. We've debated this five times. We've had 240 petitions all across this House. People are affected by this. Now, every single person that handed in a, a petition has not just a professional duty, but a moral duty to walk through that lobby tonight and yeah, vote yeah. with us. Because if they don't, as my waspy mother would say, hell slap it into you the next election. <laughs> That even the SNP cost this at £8 billion, and the department, as I have written to him, the department has assessed this at nearer £30 billion. We've looked at every alternative. We've looked at more than 25 options that have been mentioned to us. More than 25 options that have been mentioned to us about the WASPs, and there simply is not a viable option, either because of cost, complexity, or practicality. The luxury of opposition, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The luxury of opposition, Mr. Deputy Speaker, is promising everybody money without having to consider how to pay it. Now, I view this as very irresponsible. I'll take one into.